Welcome to Space Coast Live. I'm your host, Jenna Wood, and in honor of Memorial Day, we're coming to you from the Veterans Memorial Center here in Merritt Island, just 10 minutes from Cocoa Beach. We'll have more on that later, but let's kick off today's episode with a message from our beach expert, Dalton Smith. What's up guys, today I'm adventuring Wickham Park. We're about 10 minutes from the beach in Melbourne, and I say it every time, but this is one of my favorite parks. I grew up here, I love these trails. There's so much to see, so let's get out there and check it out. The park contains diverse recreational facilities and amenities, including campgrounds, disc golf, an archery range, dog park, bicycle roadway, nature trails, exercise areas, and swimming lakes. Wickham Park has a huge variety of activities and it's really amazing because everyone from kids to dogs to outdoor enthusiasts can really have a great time with all the park has to offer. Many people will either ride their bicycles or run through the trails, but for several years I rode electric skateboards and it always blew my mind how vast and extensive the trails are within the park. Another unique feature about the park has to be the disc golf area with courses all throughout the park. Now, watch this drive. One of my favorite things about the park has to be this incredible multi-mile trail system. Whether you're looking to get in a morning run or camp out for the entire weekend with your family and friends, Wickham Park has all of your outdoor needs covered. Memorial Day is a time to honor our veterans and thank them for their service, but it's also the unofficial start of summer. Some of you may choose to grill out this Memorial Day weekend, but some of you may opt for some modern American dining. Hey everybody, my name's Eric Parent, the Smooth Bear, and I'm here at Pub Americana, an American-style pub right here in Coco Village. Come on, let's go check it out. your food buddy so good man so good so the bison burger that was one of my favorite things tell me about the sauce that's on top of it this sauce is a smoked chipotle barbecue sauce and i add some it's berries and it's salted onions and salted everything together and finish in the oven and caramelize it all the sugar come together with the spice of chipotle pepper and a little back end from the smoked barbecue this, this is a swiss cheese it looks like a good, it's smoky good, but it's more rich, more creamy than good cheese, and yeah. it smooths everything together. You use pretzel buns, it's a totally different flavor from the buns, too. Yeah. And also our Parmesan fries, our fries are bread and seasoned, and served with Parmesan cheese. Well, you're a wizard. Thank you. Thank you, man. All right, there we go. Yes. Buffalo chicken pizza. Awesome. Being in Coco Village, what's your favorite part about being in Coco Village? What I really like, this is a great family area. Yeah. We do a lot of cool things. We just had a craft fair this weekend. Yeah. They, they shut down the streets around here, arts and crafts and all different things in the streets. Yeah, there's a lot of history in here. You can walk around, they have the Brevard Museum around the corner so you can see what the town built up. Lots of stuff to do, lots of shopping. Cool, places to go. Yes. For sure, well thank you for sitting with me, man. I appreciate it. The food at today has been unreal, man. Excellent. Super, Glad super you guys good. enjoyed yourself. Thanks, Eric. You got it. Pub Americana is definitely an awesome place right here in Coco Village. The food was out of this world, like something I've never tried before. Bison burgers, berry barbecue sauce. The best part was the french fries. Until next time, stay hungry, Space Coast. Here at the Veterans Memorial Center, there's tons of military artifacts for you to view, ranging from the Revolutionary War to the most recent wars in the Middle East. But that's not everything the center has to offer. With more on that, here's Lindsay Schmidt. Memorial Day is meant to honor those who are killed in active duty, and what better way to pay your respects to those men and women than a trip to the Veterans Memorial Center on Merritt Island. I'm standing in the Veterans Memorial Plaza. Here you'll find monumental tributes dating back to before the American independence up until the Iraq and Afghanistan wars. The museum at Veterans Memorial Center collects, preserves, and displays artifacts from military history with a special focus on those veterans from Brevard County. 
Its mission is to educate and inspire the community about military service and sacrifice. So if you're spending some time on the Space Coast, come visit the Veterans Memorial Center and celebrate a piece of military history. One of the greatest things about Florida's Space Coast is that nature surrounds us everywhere we go. From the Canaveral National Seashore to the Sebastian Inlet to our wetlands and our parks, there's no shortage of nature to see here. Florida's Space Coast is home to some of the most beautiful beaches in the world. But as we go into the busy season, it's extremely important that visitors and residents do their part to help keep our beaches pristine for generations to come. Something as simple as filling your pockets with trash while surfing or walking the beach can make a huge impact and save the lives of our marine animals. On Florida Space Coast, we are extremely active with the community to help keep our beaches clean and protect our native wildlife. Programs like Keeper of Our Beautiful and Creative Cans in the Sand make it easy for you to dispose of trash and get involved with community cleanups. Keep these tips in mind during your next visit to the beach on Florida Space Coast. Instead of using plastic, be sure to use reusable bags and containers. Bring a trash bag with you to make sure that you throw everything away because anything that gets left behind is buried in the sand and will end up in the ocean. Don't smoke. Cigarette butts are the leading pollutant on the beach and there are many negative effects that come from cigarettes in our water. Last but not least, make small changes. For example, you can bring a reusable water bottle to your beach instead of a disposable water bottle. This is a great way to cut down on plastic and cut down on pollution. If you love our beaches as much as we do, please remember to take nothing but pictures and leave nothing but footprints. Before we sign off today, we just wanted to say thank you to all of our veterans out there for their service. Don't have plans for Memorial Day weekend? Make a trip to Florida Space Coast. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Space Coast Live. I'm Jenna Wood, and we'll see you next time.